Oh, is that why? Yeah, that was why. So, I want to see what happened there to Adams. See if we can see what happened to Adams then, if we can. Yeah, he just, uh, it was off that Graham Hill. On the dirt. Yeah, he put, it looked like he put tires on the inside and it got his car to spin as it was like going... Where did he spin? It looked like he spun like almost uh, on the entry of it, so he must have put tires off in the braking zone to the right, which caused the car to spin when he turned to go in. And then, yeah, Ben and uh, Edwards both just kind of came by and snuck right up the inside as he was spinning up Graham Hill. Well, apologies there for that ending there, because again, it cut out yet again. But anyways, it is a WSR 1 and 2, and then Edwards in 3rd, Clements in 4th, and Adams will be frustrated there to finish in 5th place. Walsh in 6th, Tomkinson in 7th, he'll be delighted with that, I reckon. But again, apologies for that, because again, the cutout, uh, uh, what happened just at the end of that race there, so... That's that's a bit annoying. We didn't see the ending there. What happened to uh, to Adams? But uh, there we go. I mean, it was an. I mean, that's like really what you do. That's why you keep it consistent. Like we were saying, the whole time people are going to make those little bitty mistakes, and that those aren't that big of a deal. You just got to try not to spin your entire car out or anything like we saw. Um, you know, unfortunately, Adams do right there on the very last lap, and. And if you've been just, you know, living with it, that's exactly where Ben was. It ends up working out perfect. The two super softs for the BMW racers, just one, two. That's, I mean, I can't think of a better way to end 2020 than the one, two, uh, one, two, BMW. three as so, well. You we got go. Edwards, you got Edwards in third in the, in the park at Team Parker. Oh, that's BMW. right. Edwards is following right behind as well. I keep yeah. forgetting there's multiple teams in the BMW. Yeah. So there you go. So cool wins. Milton is team second. As I said, West Surrey Racing won at two. Edwards third. Clements in fourth. And Adams will be fuming to finish a fifth position when he was holding second place pretty much the entirety of the race. Thomas just hold on to sixth place. Good effort from him. Tompkinson in seventh. Sharp in eighth ahead of his teammate McEwen. Piper in tenth. Austin in eleventh. Ethan Graham in 12th, Brian Ross in 13th, and Nathan Myers on those medium tyres on 14th. Fastest lap set to Lewis Edwards on lap 9, so he gets another bonus point for that. And we will get race 3 underway, and hopefully it's not going to disconnect like it was at the end of the year, the second race, I hope. That was quite annoying, Nam. I was, oh, I was fuming about that. Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. You know, the internet is a fickle thing, and all the little things will mess up. But, you know, we kind of, we all, if you play GT Sport, you've probably dealt with enough internet issues to just kind of know you roll with the punches and move on. The thing is, though, is this, this is the, roses. the thing is, this is a first time for me. I've never seen, like, that happen twice. I've never, I've never, in all the times I've streamed in races in this league and other ones, I've never had that issue. Yeah, you know. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a problem on my end or is it on. Well, it should give you an error message, and you should be able to Google the error message, and that'll tell you. Mine was the my internet. I had weak uh, weak signal when it did it to me. Right then, Ben just letting everyone know that to check the tires, and it looks like to be only two people that are going to be on the mediums, and that will be Sean and Rob, and they are both on the mediums. So all 14 races have done those medium tire stint. Oh, well, <clears throat> it looks like. So what, we have one person, two people on the mediums? Sean and Rob? Sean and Rob, yep. Yeah, so it's going to be a super soft battle, and then, I mean, really with uh, Sean and Rob, it's just... I mean, it's been shown multiple times that on the mediums, you don't have to just battle for absolute last. You can beat a couple people on super softs if you keep your paces down and stuff. People will make mistakes, so... Yep. Sorry, that I was so, just fixing my volume there, yeah, sorry. I was, I was just trying to think of, <laughs> you know, they can get a couple of positions. I think their main goal here is just like... I hope that if in the super softs all stay really, really tight, they might mess each other up so much and slow each other so down that... Eh, he might get a couple of cheap passes on the mediums, you know, scrape out some points. But, I mean, obviously their goal is pretty much, you know, we know, uh, you know, Sean's was with Ben to try to, you know, take it all in the second race. So was Rob, it looks like. Or Rob just hasn't run his. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you just got to kind of roll the punches now. 
But, you know, they both have the pace to be able to battle almost into the top 10 on those mediums, so they should be fine. Yeah, I think how Rob Rob could have had second place at the back there if he didn't make the mistake at that corner where he's just at right now. And uh, he could have possibly been the championship leader coming into the final race. He probably may still will be, but the points deficit will not be as what it was if he finished second place. But uh, yeah, again, Gabriel, I mean, we didn't mention the, the, the big win there for Sean Cool. That's his uh, first win. Uh, oh, he did win last season, but I can't remember what track it was. Yeah, first win of the season. Yeah, 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 of of season, season. yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah, because this is only the second last race. Season or whatnot, but didn't he win, like, back-to-back -back races in one of the he did, races? He did win back-to-back -back races, Maybe but I can't remember what track it was. Did he do a three -peat? He didn't three-peat, did he? No, he didn't, no, didn't three-peat, no. Okay. Um, but yeah, Cole's had some races. We know Cole's fast. And he got given an even better car, because now he's in a BMW instead of a Mazda. I mean, oh, Jenny likes BMWs, don't you? <laughs> yeah, more than a Mazda, but that's like common sense. Everybody likes a BMW more than a Mazda. <laughs> right then, so we're starting <laughs> qualifier in this, the third streamed now for the third race. Hopefully it does not cut out. Oh, oh dear, Sean's lost it. Oh dear. Pits the pit wall too. So here we go, qualified is underway. Third five minute session. We've had McEwen on the pole. We had... Who was on the pole for the second? It was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was Sean Cool. Yeah, Cool got the pole position in race two. Oh, yeah, Who's going to get the off. pole in race three? Uh, I mean, Liam's probably got a good chance. Tompkinson has a real good chance. Uh, you know, we've seen Clements have some pace. Graham have some pace. Edwards has good pace. Piper. So can we just say pretty much everyone? You know, Milton's on the Super Softs. He just got second in the last race, so he has some pace. What if I just went crazy and said one of the medium drivers? Like, Sean Cole gets pole. <laughs> God, if, if a medium driver gets pole position, I will give you 50 pence. Oh, man. Would everyone who he is watching this just spin out on the track right now and just let any <laughs> of the medium drivers? I'll take 50 pence. That's the easiest of the life. How freaked out would you be if every car on the track just started spinning out, by the way? <laughs> I, I, well, I hope not. I mean, 50 p is a lot of money for me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm noticing here that we've got the two Parker Racing boys there. They're... Oh, oh Tonkinson is. Oh, he oh, gets he into Graham! Edwards. Oh, he Graham, just kamikaze into time. Ethan. Oh. I mean, that wasn't the best. But I've seen worse. Dear me, he just lost it there. <laughs> yeah, it's just I mean, Tompkinson lost it in Panic Hill. It, yeah, he was just like, well, there's nothing he could do to control it, and there's just cars galore in front of him. I mean, what are you supposed to do? I mean, you can, you can say anything about you should go this way, you should go that way, or whatever, but, like, you no longer have control of your car, and you're flying at a uh, hairpin. Yeah, you just brace, you're going to kill a bunch of people. Oh, it was Edwards. I'm sorry. It was Edwards, not Graham. My apologies, because his oh, teammate Edwards is on the pole. Uh, Graham is on the pole. There we go. I was like, <clears throat> I've been saying I'm backwards is what I thought for a minute, but... Look at I this mean, they're all bunched cars. up. This is, uh... Then these aren't teammates that are all bumped up, bunched up together either. These are just, like, random teams all grouped up, kind of trying to use each other, but trying to not let other people gain time on them. That is a weird place to be in a qualifying game. Yellow flag is someone has lost it on the entrance of pit lane. Who could that be? Someone trying to go into pit lane? Oh, who went purple there? And it, it was it, a oh, green. Liam went purple for a... <laughs> Everyone just... There was a bunch of people, because I was watching Liam. Liam went purple and then instantly got beat oh by goodness. someone. I guess it was... Graham and Piper. This? Yeah. I tell you what, this is a mess here. You've got. Oh, oh and now Mayers gets into the pool center. Guys, it's just qualifying. What are you. Oh, I mean... yeah. Guys, it's just qualifying. Just find a spot to follow. You got three guys there, though. So Taylor is sitting first, second, and third, with McEwen leading the way, then Piper, and then Graham. McEwen, uh, sorry, Tompkinson like approves to six. There's like half the track not getting used. Why is everyone so grouped up, but they're not teammates? <laughs> I 
I, I, I thought they would have messed each other up, but obviously not. They're just I don't working together. I mean, it, kind of. It's like Liam's getting screwed the most, Piper the le less than him, and then <laughs> Graham's getting screwed the least, <laughs> so he's getting the best time out of the whole group. So clearly, Liam's running the fastest lap here and pulling these other two to his laps, and they're getting it a little better because they're following each other. That's fair. Nice, Liam. I like it. You just bring everybody with you. When you've got about uh, roughly like two more laps of this to go, uh, I mean, it's uh, got to cool. be kind of frustrating too, where you're just hitting hot laps and you just got two people. Oh, Graham is not going to go any hotter. That's 360, no scope. He's out. Is that the last lap? No, he'll get maybe one. Yeah, he'll they'll get, get one more lap in, but I don't think Graham will improve on that time at yeah. all, so. No. 45.9 is the target. The oh, Milton just goes 6,000 slower. Ooh. And, 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 there's, and Edwards is there. Edwards is there. Teammates 1 and 3. Adams improves. There are 46 and 9. Brian Ross moves out of the way for Milton and for Graham and for Edwards. In fact, I think what and Graham's going to do is he's trying to help Edwards try and get the ball, I think. Sharp improves, maybe. Let's see where he's maybe. on the track at the moment. Yeah, he's in ninth place. Look at he's this, just though. He's accelerating. Yeah, he top, is trying to help pull into a little bit better time. Top 10. That's smart. Top 10, half a second between them. Clements improves. Where is he? Oh, he's going to pull him down the straight, too. If Edwards is on a good lap here, he's going to get an extra tenth or so just getting pulled around this last half. Does he improve? The answer is no, he doesn't. What was his time? Oh, a 46 0. Two tenths off. I think the teamwork there may not have been playing completely, and he may have had to accidentally slow down through one of the corners more than he'd wanted to. My, oh my, that was an intense qualifier now, I have to say. Look at that, top four. In fact, top five. Actually, am I seeing that right? Yeah, yeah. actually, McEwen and I Austin. Like Liam and Austin ran the same time. Yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> McEwen and Austin have ran the same time. Wait a second, why is McEwen going to go first? Alphabetically, is this go what order is this going in? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, oh, and Austin gets the pole! Austin oh. gets the pole right at the death! What? Holy smokes, man! All drivers separate by a second. How that was like that was amazing. That was the best qualifying I've ever seen. Well, let's me. Just hope it translates to the best race you've ever seen. Well, well, I, well I hope so too. But anyway. all that stuff we just did doesn't really count for much more than this. The start. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable scenes there. So Austin gets the pole. Three different pole winners in the three races. Can he convert that to a win? Hopefully, he doesn't do a mistake what he did in race two. Here we go. The last race of the night. It's been pretty fun, it's I have to say. It's an easy track to make mistakes on. So it's really just about putting your head down and just not worrying about the time. Here we go. Time, Away we go. Milton gets a terrible start there. But a bit of wheel spin on the start. So he may lose a spot or two going into his paddock hill. But it will be Austin that leads the way into paddock hill. Team Parker 2 and 3. And then you've got WSR in 4 for Ben Milton. And look at Piper stick, trying to stick his Piper. nose in there. In that Lexus, yeah, in the there. Nolan. It's still down. He might, he might. Yeah, he's oh, through. He so Milton it. down, down. Oh, and Liam's trying to follow him through as well. Oh, contact with Piper McEwen. They padded at Graham Hill. Sorry, my apologies there. And now it looks like Graham. Oh, no. Piper's gone for third around the outside of Edwards, and he's got it there. Superb pass there from Piper. Piper oh, and Edwards wants it back. Oh. oh, my goodness. We sideways through Clark Curve and back into P3. They go. Two. Liam's right there, Clements even further back. Wow, they're just all in a single file line down that section. Oh, I'm just hoping this doesn't disconnect there, because this could be the makings of an amazing race. It's just what you said there. As there goes to the inside, goes Graham on Austin. Austin still has that bit of the, the front bump of the Lexus late on the brakes and back into the lead he goes there. That was real brave stuff from Austin late on the brakes and he still holds on to the lead. And now Piper wants a piece of that third place. Side by side they go Ooh. through. Uh, that's sadly sorry. And that Piper's back in the third. Milton now side by side with Edwards. Look I mean, at them no, all, it's a massive still stake. In a huge straight line. It's just that everybody's just right there. Don't make a mistake, you're gonna get passed by 14 cars. <laughs> and pretty much exactly there. Look at the top seven there. What's the gap between the 
First and seventh, about 1.6 seconds there. Tomkinson around the outside of Milton. He might lose that sixth place to, uh, to Clements. Clements is looking on Tomkinson as well. Yeah. Now. This is what I like to call a 28-wheel disaster making here. The move. Ash and Sean are making the move on Thomas. Is Sean going to try to get into the top 10? Into a solid nine? Well, <laughs> yeah, that's oh. the so oh, wow. Thomas and oh, go side by side. Here comes Adams. Oh, Thomas has run right at Clark. Now Adams has gone ahead of Cool. Those are the only two that's on the medium tyres. There's Myers and McEwen down there in 13th place. Oh, we didn't Ben's see what up him. in the 5th. He just two people in one No, corner? no, no, no. He's defending. No? Okay. He was defending that 5th place there because okay. Tompkinson. My, oh, my. There's battles oh, everywhere. Which you look, there's more wide. contact. Contact with Tompkinson and Milton. And, uh, oh, oh, and I think uh, Adams has gone off. Adams has hit the wall. Ooh. Quickly check a replay on that. Oh, did he have some help there from Cool? He might have had a help, a bit of help from Sean Cool there in the process. Uh, I, I mean, I think we'll have to see if Cole starts to move over to any kind of concede or anything when he catches up, or if he's slowing down or anything. He may have, but I mean, everyone's still just in one huge line. Any mistake up at the front's gonna instantly drop you down many positions, and I'm pretty sure everyone else knows that. Right now, they just need to try to keep their paces up and just keep up with the person ahead of them, close the gaps down, get by them if they need to, because it seems like everyone's pretty much running the same pace right now. Austin still leads, but then it's Graham all over the back of him. And then Piper in third, Edwards in fourth, fifth is Milton, <laughs> and he's now distanced himself away from Tompkinson in sixth. And now Clements in seventh, Sharp having a great race in eighth place, and now he's all over the, uh, the, the, the Ooh, BTC Piper's Nolan. Oh, Thomas Walsh, oh, side by side for the lead. Graham and Austin side by side on the Brabham Street. And is that a position done. change? A lead change? Yes, indeed it is. But will Austin go for the cutback or will Graham defend it? No, Graham will hold on to that lead now. Oh, oh does he now? There. Austin to the outside. Such a hard corner to go around the outside of. Yeah, it's, it's hard to make it stick. You have then to have if you... like full coverage on them to pin them down low enough to be able to stick around it. Otherwise, they're just like, you just have nowhere to go. Here we go. They're making their way through Surtees now into Hamilton's and then onto Clark Kev. Ethan Graham leads the field. Then it's Austin second, Piper third, Edwards fourth, Milton fifth. And then you've got sixth place there. Defending champion Ethan Tomkinson, seventh, Chris Clements, eighth, Sash Sharp, and then Thomas Wilson ninth, and McEwen trying to recover from whatever he did. I think that was on the second lap, I believe it was, but he's now into that 10th position. And you got Myers, and then you got Cool, Brian Ross, and then Rob Adams bringing up the field. Has been on to lap 7 out of 20, so about 14 laps to go of this intense race, and then it's a five-car battle for the lead now. Yeah, Tomkinson I mean, Tomkinson is... and Clements, they're not too far back, and if they can get some pace going, if they battle too much, they'll probably fall off this top five pack, but if they just kind of use each other for the next, you know, six laps, then they might be able to close this gap down. It's not that big. It's only a second and a half. They're going to start battling at some point up here if they have the pace to keep up with each other. Well, I think, if more than anything, I think Tomkinson is under some a lot of pressure from Clements because that gap is not improving. And if Tomkinson and Clements are still battling, Sharp will fancy this, and they will have another battle going on for sixth place. Oh, as Thomas has a look on the inside, and maybe contact oh, the pad kill bend. Free abreast. Oh, and oh, Sharp's no. been pushed off. Sharp's just been pushed off. That's rough. Yeah, welcome to Brands Hatch. Pad kill. The passes there can be amazing, but it can also be real tough. Here we go. There wasn't contact. I think he tried to put a block. Oh, and he just he just clipped the gravel trap, and that's what got into Walsh. So he didn't get. I don't think he got shoved off. He just clipped the gravel, and mm -hmm. then pushed them off. That's the disaster there for Sharp, though, unfortunately. But you know these things happen. Further ahead, though, Adams is all over the back of Brian Ross for twelfth place. Piper's down into I mean, third yeah, place. Austin's about. down to fourth. Just noticed it there. Piper's down. Uh, sorry, Ed, Ed, Austin is now into fourth position. Piper may have passed him at Clark Kev. And then through into third place as well goes uh, Edwards, I think. Yeah, because he passed it. He passed Austin down at uh, Paddock Hill. So Austin's lost two positions now. 
Yeah, I mean, they're all still kind of grouped up, so it's kind of just, you know, don't be too crazy. Like, you can get your passes, but I mean, if you're, like, in, you know, any of their positions, they're only a second or so back from the lead. Any spin, any way off, anything they do is going to, like, cost some time. So you don't have to be too crazy about anything yet. But we do see, you know, Thompson is closing that gap down quite a bit to Milton, and Clements hasn't fallen off him at all, so he's still right there as well. So we're about to see seven cars get gathered up in this group if they keep kind of you know just alternating and battling and just little light stuff instead of just trying to separate so i mean clements is based or Tompkins and clements are basically there now yeah they are pretty much then top seven then separated nearly three seconds then separating graham to clements in seventh place and now McEwen has now passed thomas Walsh, so he's now into eighth position and he's also on the center soft tires as well and he's actually purple too just on the exit of sector two so uh, yeah. McEwen, you have something to say in this as we're coming into what's the second half of the final race of the day. Yeah, I mean, I think Graham's in a perfect position right now. He's got enough of a gap to not feel comfortable, but also know that you are not going to have any moves made on you at that distance. Like, when you have a half a second on someone, they're not, like, they're realistically not going to go for any passes on you, yet they are not close enough to go for anything. So, I mean, this is a comfortable amount of pressure to have. Like, Piper needs to put more pressure on than a half second back on a 48 second lap. You know, if you're a half second back on a lap that's three or four minutes, yeah, but a 48 second lap, that, that's a couple turns on some tracks. Indeed, yeah. Just know so that McEwen is catching Clements too. It's down to 1.6 seconds. It was about two seconds the last lap, so McEwen, in, in the words of Rasko, is definitely on a mission here tonight. But it is still Graham leading the way. And I think Pipe is actually catching up to Graham. And then you got Edwards in third. Austin still in fourth. Milton in fifth. And Tompkinson and Clements. They're now in this battle. It's now a seven car battle. It could be eight very soon. The way that McEwen is really catching up to McEwen. Uh, Clements. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a huge battle. It's The problem is the track, like we've said, the second half of the track doesn't have a lot of opportunity to pass on. Like, they need to make a mistake. They need to leave something open for you to even try to get your car on the inside of because there's just a lot of ways to defend. So, you know, when everyone starts going defensive and stuff, it should just clump everybody up more into a rolling start formation stuff as people have to actually defend. So it's really, you know, they can all keep that pace to get some moves to go because the gaps right now are like just outside of move distance but you don't have to push that harder now there's still you know eight laps to go i just saw someone going off then at paddock hill but no everyone's all safe and clean through there lap 13 out of 20 so eight laps to go oh edwards runs a oh. little wide off of graham hill now will that allow austin to make a run no edwards still holds on to that third spot if it closed even more people right up on him, so now he's getting pressure from them, so it means Piper and Graham are going to get probably more separation unless they get this move done real quick. Riding on board then with Ben, seeing his former teammate Alex Austin trying to have a look on the inside at Paddock Hill, but Edwards closes that, uh, that battle there. Yeah, I think Ben's just trying to figure out who's going to win the battle, because if he follows the winner then he's going to gain a position either way. Oh, contact there! Edward sideways at, at Druids there. So Austin gave him a little love tap. He forgot he's not a BMW. He didn't get to do the BMW <laughs> passes anymore. If only Alex would race at a BMW, that'd be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Edwards is also in a pretty good position. He's got a, enough of a, you know, he's got the ability to defend. Oh. I'd rather be defending at Brands Hatch than attacking in most cases. Just because it's not the most, the hardest part about defending is not putting two wheels off the track, which is yeah. tough, but mm -hmm. you know, you can do that while attacking too. The top two have now pulled themselves away from this, you could say now, five car battle for, for third place now, and Edward's still leading that charge. And there's McEwen in eighth place in that motor base performance car, still there, keeping He's him honest. He's trying to get up in there. He is trying. What? Myers and Thomas are battling back as they just come through the hairpin as well, so they're trying to gain every point they can. Yeah, Thomas has lost a lot of ground there to uh, to McEwen, and it uh, looks like there's a battle going on as Sean runs a little wide off of Graham Hill. Let's have a look That's at a this battle then. I mean, yeah, Thomas is just running good laps, and it's again, I, I always give the advantage to whoever is ahead 
just because it's easier to defend than attack in general, and it's way easier to defend at Brands Hatch than attack. Like, the only difference is you can't put tires off, but that's true whether you're defending or attacking, so that doesn't really change anything. I wonder Sometimes if... the pressure can, like, force you to, but that's about it. But well, yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. Just seeing what Piper can do, he is, he is there, isn't he, on, on Graham, is Adam Piper, but we know what Adam's driving style is like, he can be aggressive, he'll probably go for, like, a do-or-die pass, but I wonder if... You know, with his, um, because he, he, he was fighting for the championship last season, but he did silly mistakes that cost him, and uh, he did have a few penalty points there too. Well, well, points taken away because of his driving antics. So hopefully, this is a, a new and improved Adam Piper. If you can make a clean pass on Graham, but we're coming out there. I, I mean, on... I think really when you sit in a spot right here, you don't have to make a Whoa! move. Yet. You got, you know, three laps to go. What happened? Milton, huge sideways off of Druids there. I was looking on, I was looking at Piper and I just saw Milton just st corrected the car on the exit of the <laughs> Druids there. And that was a lovely save. But he's lost an awful lot of ground there to Austin. And now Austin's all over the back of uh, Edwards. Well, I thought he was a little bit closer to the back of Edwards, but no, not to be. Three more laps to go. And, Pipe yeah, and Piper's still sitting at that half second rule, so I mean, I think he can just wait a little bit. Like, you can wait this lap and just hope that he spins, hope that he messes up. But really, I think you gotta start looking for opportunities. Whoa, Edwards! No, everyone can't do pad a kill today. No, oh, no, 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 they, no, they can't. I told you it was one of the talking points. I had to say everyone went off at pad a kill, and so we had a couple of them there. Now, what Ethan doesn't want to do is what I, uh, Rob Adams did in race two, and that was losing the car, which got him down into fifth position. But I tell you what, Piper's getting a little bit closer. Oh God, Edwards is so sideways there. He's losing oh. more time. Oh, I'll tell you oh, what, Piper Piper's, Piper's getting close. He's flashing the lights. He's flashing the lights to Graham. He's trying to put him off now. Two laps to go. And now Graham goes defensive. The outside at Paddock? I don't know. That's tough. Cutback he, strat? Yeah, he's going for the crisscross. Is he going there for the cutback? No. Not, it's just so hard to get your car alongside and keep it there then. All right, whatever. It's the penultimate lap. You can just look for stuff, but you don't actually have to make a move yet. But now he knows the cross back. He's going to run really fast and wide, so you're going to have to, like, get real aggressive with your cross back because you've got to keep your car alongside because it's all about winning the hairpin battle when you go for the cut back on him. So, like, now he knows how he's going to drive it, so he can go for the same move and just try to keep that car pinned. And, I mean, if you don't punt him off, you probably complete the move cleanly. Position began there for Tompkins, and he's just passed Milton into Certes, and I think Clements might have a piece of that too, but no. Up into P5 then goes Tompkinson, and this Piper's is how he did it. For it. Same move. Yeah, he, he forced he Milton into mistake. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about Piper. Piper's trying to get all over Graham for the lead right now. So I was just looking at a replay of how Tompkinson <laughs> got by uh, Milton, but anyways... Well, let car. Edward close up too, so we're currently sitting in a situation again where we've got two BMW teammates trying to find a way to get a 1-2, so I'm just saying, clearly you want to drive BMWs, like this is an obvious thing. Maybe this is a track that will suit the BMWs, I think next They're week when it's Spa. They're coming around here at the end, yeah, yeah for are. sure, but yeah, Spa, I don't know that might that not favor the BMWs. To, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, I don't think anyone's really got it no. in the top group. No, and did they not? Ethan Graham, three different winners in the three rounds. Graham wins, Piper second, Edwards third, Austin fourth, Tompkinson gets fifth position. Clements actually did get by, and Milton down into eighth place. I don't know what happened to Milton. Mm. Oh, did he? I don't know. Did he make a little mistake? Because he just seemed to give up that seventh place to to McEwen. Uh, maybe, or he possibly had contact, or many things for sure. Um, that could have happened there. I mean, it's not exactly where they wanted to finish, but you got to remember that both of them, you know, had kind of already used their double soft strategy to both get as high as they could. But yeah, I'm sure Mild would like to be back in second or third there where he was sitting for most of that race. But yes, the track's going to eat a couple of cars. A couple of cars are going to get eaten up by the track. A couple of cars are going to get eaten up by the contact. But really, Graham just had a fantastic race. So he deserves the win. Indeed, he did. So here is the... Uh unofficial results Ethan Graham makes it three winners in the first three races and also three different pole winners too Piper second Edwards in third Austin in fourth Tomkinson in fifth then Chris Clements in sixth Liam McEwen seventh Ben Milton finishes in eighth Thomas Walsh 
in in ninth. Nathan Byers in tenth. Sean Ku eleventh. Rob Adams twelfth. Those two were on the medium tyres. Brian Ross finishes in thirteenth. And Ash Sharp bringing out the rear in 14th. So that was a pretty uh, interesting first round there, there, Jerry. What did you think? I mean, it was different than what I expected, right? It, I didn't know what those tire rolls were quite going to do, and it kind of turns it into a multi-class event without a multi-class event inside of a race for everyone. So that was pretty awesome. About Anytime you have three different winners, that's way better than the same person just dominating the field three times as much as everyone wants to do that. I want to watch all sorts of different people winning. Yeah, I think that's what makes the championship more competitive. I mean, that's what the changes have done. They've just had, you know, they provided three different pole winners and, like you said, three different winners. Hopefully, we'll get to see three different drivers instead put up on the top step of the podium, which I, I think it is at Spa next week, isn't it? If you've oh, still I have got no them, idea. I don't I've, know why I you're forget. asking me about tracks. I come into everything pretty blind on what track it is, so I think we all. Oh, I forget as well. I've, I've completely forgotten as well. Again, it's one of them. I know we go to Brands <laughs> Full. Yeah, Brands Full. That's the last round. That's the that's the indie set. That's the the full. That's the GP circuit. That's the last round. But uh, yeah, that has been the, it. There again. Apologies there to the different. Uh, Cutouts of uh, the end of the race too. There, that was beyond my control. Stupid internet. I was. I don't know if it's Polyphony's fault, but I'm. I'm blaming Polyphony. But uh, there you go. <laughs> but anyways, this has been the BTCC Blueprints with STDH Designs uh, at Brands Hatch. We will see you again next week. Until then, I have been uh, Sean, and I'm Jerry. See you. And, and we'll see you again next week. <laughs>